since Donald Trump became president, it seems every weekend has forced activists into the streets to resist his administration and policies. This weekend will be no different, as thousands are expected to march around the nation and across the Brooklyn Bridge to bring attention to gun violence and its impact on ordinary families. Joining us now are two volunteers with the group Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Laura House is helping to organize the Saturday afternoon march. Thank you for joining us here on BK Live. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks Good. for having us. We're also happy to have Marie Dellis, yes. who has felt the tragedy of gun violence firsthand. Now, Marie is also a member of Every Town Survivor Network. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Laura, let's start with you. You call yourself an accidental activist. Yes. And now here you are helping to plan the march uh, with the New York chapter of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. What got you involved? Um, it was, I was at my son's kindergarten curriculum meeting. He goes to a public school here in Brooklyn. And all the really expected things were were posed and covered from academics and play and culture of the school. And then there was a parent in the audience who, you know, with a shaky voice, asked about lockdown drills, which is something I knew was going to be part of our lives, but I hadn't quite accepted it yet because this, you know, this was my first child and my only child, and he was now in the school system, and this is what was normal, and I refused to normalize it and accept that. Um, and there happened to be an event that Moms Demand Action was hosting that weekend. I showed up, they gave me a clipboard, had me signing people in, and I haven't stopped since. They're an excellent grassroots movement that really bring people into the fold. Well, Marie, we know that you also are involved on this issue, and it was a lot more personal for you. Yes, I am. I'm actually a, a Moms Demand Action Every town su survivor and volunteer, I actually joined Moms Demand Action very early on after uh, Newtown. Newtown happened in December 2012, and on December 15, um, Shannon Watts created the organization through Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I was looking f for something to do because I was directly impacted by what happened to those 26 children because I so happened to be at a party, mm -hmm. a holiday party, when I saw it flash in the news. And I remember distinctively just walking by the, the TV coverage because, you know, I live in Brooklyn, shooting happened all the time. Mm -hmm. So I walked by and I remember going to get a red velvet cupcake and I went back to get that river cupcake, and I heard the reporter says, I believe the child, uh, we lost several children younger than five. And I remember just freezing. And it just brought me all the way back to the time when I lost my nephew. Do you mind if I share the picture? So his name is Pierre Paul Jean Paul Jr. He was actually killed in um, Queens, New York, on November 11, 2008, which so happened, ironically, to be uh, Veterans Day. <laughs> I'm a vet. And um, that day, when, the sh when I saw what happened in Newtown, I was just so shocked, mm -hmm. even after everything that happened to my family, I was just so shocked that it would happen in the school, 20 kids lost, six educators, that I just felt compelled that I had to do something. And so I joined Moms Man Action, and I've been advocating ever since for gun let's, safety. Let's talk about how that's been for you, Marie. You are a vet. You're a proponent of the Second Amendment. Yes. Um, how do you reconcile those things, and what does that mean for you to be all of those things? I mean, it's, it's, it's the same thing as Moms Man Action in every town. We're not against guns. We're not against gun ownership. We are um, a, pro, a proponent, an advocate for Second Amendment, right? Mm -hmm. Not only am I a Marine, not only a veteran, I'm a sharpshooter. One of the huge moments of my life is realizing, and I was a few points away from expert, so to this day when I tell the story, I get like, <gasps> you know? So I'm really good. <laughs> what I'm saying, I'm, I'm really good, okay? So that moment was a proud moment of my life to be able to have an M16 back in the days, it was M16, and to be, such a proficient shot, mm -hmm. and just because it was important to me, because I'm serving my country. Mm -hmm. So we're not anti-gun. Mm -hmm. We are for gun violence prevention. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy for, for me to be a Second Amendment person, to be a veteran, to be a Marine, and to still fight for, to stop gun violence in our communities. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. So, Laura, you have the same message. Mm -hmm. This, you guys aren't rapidly against and taking away everyone's gun. No. 
what is the approach? What if you had the ear of those in America mm -hmm. who have the uh, the ability right. to make sensible laws, or even those who are rebelling against any changes mm -hmm. to the law? What is your message to them? Um, we are about gun violence prevention, gun safety, uh, awareness of gun violence issues. And so what we work to do within our communities, within our state and, you know, with federal legislation, is to make sure that there are really excellent laws that are keeping guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them and out of places where they shouldn't be. And we can start with our schools. That's right. Let's, right. Now, Let's start with our schools. That they won't be present at the Brooklyn Bridge this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, Marie, you want to tell us a little bit about, a little bit about what we can expect uh, besides wearing orange <laughs> when uh, Saturday tell comes. Us about that too. So, tomorrow is uh, June 2nd, which is uh, National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Mm -hmm. Kicks so it off for the month. It kicks mm -hmm. it off for the month, uh, even though uh, June 2nd is the day, is actually the whole month of June. Right. And we're actually everyone to wear orange to represent the uh, color orange. There's two folds. We're asking everybody to wear orange because, as you showed earlier, Hydea Pendleton was the young lady who was killed in Chicago, and I've met her parents, and they're really wonderful people. Something tragic should not have happened to just wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And her classmates ask us, the other classmates to ask to wear orange to remember her. Mm -hmm. Orange is a color for hunters, as you may know. Um, hunters. They wear orange to show that human life is important and they do not want to be shot and killed. So that's why we're wearing orange. It represents stopping gun violence. It represents gun violence awareness. And it also represents something that everyone across the world they could do, to recognize this movement, to, show, to say to everyone, including our politicians, that we can stop gun violence. And that's why we do it. And it's the, the march is on June 3rd, and Laura can tell you, Laura can tell you a little exactly, bit more about June. Yeah. June 3rd of March. Yeah, I will. And it is, we are kicking off tonight because the, if you get um, to catch a glimpse of the Empire State Building, it will be lit up in orange tonight. Right, because it's not just people wearing clothes, no. right? <laughs> it's a lot of landmarks have gotten mm -hmm. involved. Um, the Freedom Tower tomorrow night will go orange, um, and I think the Empire State Building stays orange all weekend. Um, but we will be meeting at 2 p.m. at Brooklyn Bridge Park at the Korean War Veterans uh, Plaza, and there'll be a band and we'll be this gathering there. This is Saturday. You Saturday, won't June third. You won't. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Orange is highly visible. Yeah. It's loud. It's it, be thousands of yeah. people. <laughs> you, you cannot ignore orange. Um, and then at three p.m. we start our march across the Brooklyn Bridge, which is really fantastic. It's inspiring. It's um, you know, bring your bells, bring your whistles, whistles you know, make <laughs> noise. Uh, and then at 4 p.m., we get to the other side in Manhattan, and we have a rally at Foley Square. So there'll be some key speakers. Um, Julianne Moore will be there. Yes. and A lot um, of celebrities. And, and we mm -hmm. should also note that um, it's not only New York. It's throughout the states, the United States. Mm -hmm. We have uh, chapters on almost every 52, 52 chapters in every single state. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Different powerful um, um, lands, landmarks will be lit up. Mm -hmm. And for them to find out, for anyone who's interested in finding out more, they should go to our website, which is www.wearorange.org, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. And everyone could just come in and just find a nearby event and just join us. We would love to have everybody join us. Last year, around 250,000 people turned out for this event, mm -hmm. including President Obama. Yes. How is this year feeling different with the current administration? Well, I mean, what, what we like to say is that we're not political in that way. We do not choose sides. Whoever, we do have representative who, who supports us mm -hmm. throughout the various states. You would be very surprised at some of the states where representatives support us. So we cross our political realms. So we believe the same representative, even more so, will come and join us. Because again, it's not about the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. It's not, a, I mean, it's not about taking guns rights away from anyone. It's about respecting the Second Amendment and stopping gun violence. So we see it, and we have gun owners. We have myself, <laughs> military so personnel. The so. activism and the outlook hasn't changed no matter who's sitting in the seat in the Oval Office? I mean, it's a bigger fight. I mean, we're not, we're not we, I can't sit here and tell you that we, we don't know that there's additional challenges under mm -hmm. this administration, but it's not going to stop us. You know, we will step up. And we have won many um, bills this year. Mm -hmm. we've, we've stopped very recently permanent bills in some of the states. And I 
I believe it happened last week. Our moms are fighting. Our dads are fighting. It's not only moms, it's dads, so, too. We mm -hmm. legit so. have, like, 20 seconds. So I'm just going to ask you, New York has some of the toughest gun laws mm -hmm. in Absolutely. the country. So how can we build on that, not rest here, but support national legislation and change as well? I would get involved with Moms Demand. Um, I would get involved with every town. Be checking up on your representatives to see if they are supporting strong gun sense legislation. That's the most important thing we can do. Okay. Thank you so now much you for know. joining us. Yeah, thank you for being really here. Have a great weekend. Get your weekend. orange together. Get your orange <laughs> on. See you on Saturday. That's You'll right. be in good company. That's right. All right. Definitely. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.